Now we're going to create the UVs for the model so that we can properly bake uh, the high poly to the low poly. First we'll have to make sure uh, we're under the polygons tool set here. Then go to edit UVs, make sure you have the object selected. Go to edit UVs, UV texture editor. And this is what you're going to see here. I'm going to click right here so I can see it uh, better. And click right there as well so that uh, it stands out more. So now we have to create the UVs for this guy. Uh, an important thing when doing UVs is that uh, you want to make sure there is no distortion uh, with the texture on the model. And the easiest way to see that is if we apply a texture to the uh, model here, um, a UV distortion grid. So let's go ahead and do that. Hold down right click, and go to assign new material, uh, Lambert, it's fine. I'm going to name this UV material and we're going to apply a texture to this uh, under the color, click on the checker box and choose file and now click on the folder select the texture you can download this texture uh, I'm going to have it available on my website so you can download that and use it or just google for one and use your own so to see the texture on the model, I'm going to press 6. And this is what it looks like. And as you can see, uh, our texture is based on... Uh, it's just a texture of a bunch of squares. So we want to make sure that the squares look like squares on the model. In this case, they look stretched. And up here, they just look flat out pretty bad. Um, so we have to fix that. So open the UV here click on the model um, let's do the the base first so we're going to double click that so as you can see when I double click it selects the whole thing and it also selects it selects the thing uh, selects it in the UV editor so we have the faces selected I want to change that to UV so hold down control and right mouse click and choose where it says to UV and I'll press W and you can move that to the side and this is the lid so in this case we really don't really uh, have to uh, project UVs ourselves uh, because Maya we used a primitive in Maya so it already comes with UVs as you can see all we have to do is fix the uh, uh, the distortion in this case here where it looks uh, squashed like that. So I'm going to hold down right click, go to UV and click, click on the UV for this thing. Hold down control, right click and now to shell. And once you have that selected, we go to press R and scale that using the red handle here. So now we get uh, we can fix the area right here and just make it so that it, they look as close closely as possible looking at squares and I think that looks fine so that's all we have to do there move this to the side those okay. so now let's work with the top here we're going to do the same thing uh, select UV here Control, right mouse click to shell, press R, scale that. In this case, I'm actually going to use the green arrow here. Use the middle one to scale this larger so I can see it better. And just make it look like squares. Okay, that looks relatively fine the bottom should be fine except for the top uh, the top we have to fix that because we did an extrusion so that kind of messed up the, the UVs here so I'm going to select the whole top uh, so select those faces then go to the uh, select menu and grow selection and in this case um, 
what I'm going to do is go to create UVs so we have to manually create UVs for that part and we're going to choose the planar mapping but make sure you click on the options box first so we want to make sure that uh, actually let me reset here so fit projection should be set to best plane and also make sure that the image uh, width and ratio is selected okay and projects and we get this guy right here as you can see now it seems to be fairly fine everything looks like squares here the texture looks fine on the model okay so that's pretty much all we have to do for the UVs for the exception of uh, number one we have to make sure that uh, the sizing matches like right here our squares are larger than here uh, we want to make sure they're close um, also to bake our texture we want to make sure that our UV pieces all fit within this uh, quadrant right here so they should fit there okay so what I'm going to do is select all the objects um, it's best if you manually scale pieces so that they fit uh, they have the same sizing here but I'll try to use the layout option which can sometimes help so layout options box I'm going to set it to wall and to 56 apply and close it uh, that kind of helped uh, again as I said before it's better if you do it manually um, sometimes the layout option does not do a very good job uh, which is why but in this case I think it did a pretty good job at uh, matching the sizing for the whole area here and I think we also have enough spacing here actually want just a little more space so I'm going to select everything okay now this guy to move this one up here you gonna have a little space between the, the pieces here okay so this is what the UVs should look like so everything looks fine so we're set to go um, so now we can make the details from the high poly to the low poly I'm just gonna press 5 so I don't have to see texture anymore <laughs> 